<clears throat> Hold on. Feeling. A little sore, but uh, I'll be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so I've got to get checked out. But if you want to meet or what? No, 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 I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam! I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. Thank you. It wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage. And while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. I heard Tai Young Medical bought everything up. They're the only biotech corporation that could, after the incident. Our patents, our tech, everything. Oh well, sometimes one dream has to die so another can rise from its ashes. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs? The bee is just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I, I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. Really. Goodbye, Seraph.
my god. Please, I can pay you. You must help. Don't bother him, there. no poses. Something. Oh. I could have sworn.
Think you can order me around? Not here. No. He has nowhere else to go. He is here. Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man. You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Jensen! My favorite techno wonder kind! Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem for now. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I... I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know, I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sari fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. Alright. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, right? Where, where did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have... Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carl? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... 
bees, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? Major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. But you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. They help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Sarah's work. These new orgs, they... they look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. 
If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Lavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kolar. Thanks for the praxis. Treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely. That is what. Listen. Go away, Clank. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vanna. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli. Yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, and no doubt there are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I think the best way to describe me is a troubleshooter, and a friend of Vaclav Kohler. He tells me you have a shipment for him, so I figured I'd do him a favor and pick it up. Look, Vato. The man who still believes in dealing honestly. But only up to a point. Kohler must have told you that I refused to give him the calibrator. You know, dealing with Ogs these days is bad business. How desperate Collar must be to send someone like you. And the answer is still no. Dealing with Collar is risky, but he's proven to be dependable. Not always easy to find that these days. I need him to do some repairs, and he needs the Calibrator to do it. What do you think, Vano? Are we hearing the full truth now? I think we are. But your self-interest is causing me some concern. Still... You have managed to intrigue me. So tell me... How far are you willing to go to help your friend, Kohler? If Kohler needs my help, I'll do whatever needs doing. What do you think, Vado? Could this man be useful? I think he could. It is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man. Uh, even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? Uh, don't worry. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> so what do you say? Do we have a deal, mister? Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. 
Upstairs in my office, you will find Caller's calibrator. I will be in touch. Take your sideshow somewhere else. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Good.